Okay, so this video is detailing the mounting of the uh, Prusa Junior heated bed to glass and how it's mounted with magnets to the uh, acrylic print bed underneath. So the acrylic print bed is covered with Kapton tape and it's what I used to print on previously. Into that, uh, using the PCB as a pattern, I marked uh, four spots and drilled 5 16 inch holes and put in matching magnets. And I took some uh, pieces of peak, which I only used them because they were here and I wasn't using them for anything else. And I drilled a hole into those and put a matching magnet, matching polarity to the corners. And it's glued on with uh, Sianna acrylate uh, glue to the corners. Um, the thermistor is held on with Kapton tape. And when I flip this over, you'll be able to see that uh, the glass, which is borosilicate, is also held on with uh, just Kapton tape. Now the PCB is mounted in a way that the solid copper is on the top and what happens is when the when the heated bed heats up um, you get a convex uh, bowing in the bed which makes it fit even tighter on the glass so it's sufficient just to have uh, the, the Kapton tape on the corners attached to this. Now ordinarily what you would do is just let this snap into place just like that and it's ready to print but you've got this air gap in the bottom and uh, glass being such a good insulator the end result would be that most of your heat would be lost through the bottom instead of the top. So what you need is uh, to maintain that air gap, in other words a non-conductive material needs to be placed there and for that I've got corrugated cardboard four pieces of it which I've cut out the corners to accommodate the the posts on the end. So I'm going to slip that in uh, between the acrylic bed and the heated bed. Um, and I can just lift this. And put my cardboard in. And so what that does is it prevents the heat from being lost out of the bottom and uh, makes the heated bed really efficient and it warms up nice and fast. So that's how I mount it and it's uh, I guess part of what makes it uh, possible to print on bare glass with PLA. Now the heated bed is uh, usually turned up from 120 C to 125. Um, I don't think mine can go any higher than that but that's just what I run it out for for ABS. When I'm printing with PLA, I can uh, usually run it about 70 or 80 degrees C, and it's just fine. Anyway, that's how I do it. I hope uh, it helps you with your setup. Thanks.